Welcome to the eighth grade step up band. Uh, yeah, it's a band concert. <laughs> That's what we're here for. Um, I'm Sheila Peterson. I'm vice president of the Fox Row Music Association, and I just wanted to take a few moments to let all of you eighth grade parents and other parents who might be here um, know who the Fox Row Music Association is. And first of all, just to let you know, all three of my girls um, participated in the music program, and my daughter Lizzie is a senior, raising her hand right there. Um, she's a percussionist, and by the way, she just got into her top choice college today. Woo! <laughs> With a nice merit scholarship, I might add, so good going, Lizzie. Uh, we're proud of you. Um, anyway, the Foxborough Music Association is a nonprofit organization, um, and we do a lot of behind the scenes work um, to enrich the whole student and faculty experience as best we can. Those things include hospitality at events like tonight um, and other concerts, and um, hosting uh, families like we just did, um, and students from the students from Australia. Um, we also subsidize guest artists and commissioned works, which benefit the students because they get to work with those guest artists in workshops during school, as well as perform with them on stage, but also benefits the faculty as they get to be with the world-class art artists and pick up things here or there, and also benefits, benefits us as parents in the community because we get to enjoy world-class artist right here in Foxborough High School Auditorium. So it's pretty darn awesome. Um, we also provide scholarships to students who, so that you can continue, students can um, take um, advantage of enrichment opportunities such as camps and lessons. So those are some of the things we do. Um, and then also in order to do all that, we have a lot of fundraising activities. There currently is an annual campaign that's going on right now, a sponsorship campaign that you can find out more about by checking out our website, foxboroughmusic.com, and participate in that um, with a financial contribution if you're so inclined. But that is a, one of our major sponsorship efforts, but we also have a lot of other efforts like selling items such as pop sockets. You might see the Warrior pop sockets in the back of phones. They are available now for sale, as well as little wallets, and other items. So. There are plenty of ways to engage. We welcome you to join us, and one way to join us is to attend our monthly meetings, which are the second Tuesday of every month, right here in the band room at the high school, and they start at 7.30 on those evenings. So please come, we'd love to see you, and especially um, take note of a letter you'll get in the summer for an August, a mid-August meet and greet, greet. It's usually the first Monday of band camp week, which is a special week. All right, so thank you very much. If you have any questions, you can ask me or any one of us um, that you see in the um, reception after following the concert. Thanks. Okay, so uh, our first group tonight is going to be the eighth grade band and that's directed by Mr. Donnie Albro. Please join me in welcoming these students.
song for the winter moon. And what you see in front of you here is the eighth grade band and the Foxborough High School concert band. Please welcome them. Okay, as we get uh, reset here for the Foxborough High School Concert Band, I'd like to introduce myself to you. My name's Aaron Bush. I'm the high school band director here at Foxborough. Uh, we're thrilled to be here for you tonight to play for you and share with you some information about our high school program.
in the hopes that your outstanding eighth grade students decide to continue in music, to let this continue to enrich their lives in our fantastic program here. Um, we're going to play for you right now. Mr. Albro is going to talk to you in a little bit uh, about some of the benefits of being in our program and about some of our high school students. One of the great things about our program here is that we share staff across the Ahern Middle School and Foxborough High School. So all of your students uh, kind of came through the program with Ms. Greenleaf and Mr. Albro, and both of them um, are directors here up at the high school with me as well. So throughout the semester, throughout the year, they will all continue to see those familiar faces, specifically Mr. Albro next year, um, as well as Ms. Greenleaf. We work as a, a, a big team here, the staff. We all kind of share among the different buildings. Um, so we're gonna play for you right now two pieces. Uh, the first is an exciting kind of faster piece called Incantation and Dance. And then afterwards we're gonna play for you Amazing Grace by Frank DeKelly. We hope you enjoy both.
which is completely different than what you just heard. So we're gonna give you a contrast of two different styles. Um, here at the high school we do play a lot of music. Um, we have a curriculum that represents an entire year's worth of learning where the students will receive approximately 20 to 25 pieces of high quality literature at the beginning of the year and together they will learn and perform all of those pieces at some point during the year um, with each other. These are all fantastic students here that not only play at a high level but they're also very high quality people. Um, and I, I don't have children myself, um, but if I did, I would want them to spend time around these individuals on stage here. They're all high quality characters. Um, they have integrity and honesty, they're kind to one another, and we have a really beautiful culture here. Not only of music making, but encouraging one another and being part of something greater than just ourselves. Um, so if I were a parent of an eighth grader, I would feel really good about them potentially being part of this musical family. Um, because we have a lot to offer each other, and we have a lot to offer these wonderful young students of yours here. Uh, so we have one more piece, Amazing Grace. Hope you dig it.
Well, they're getting reset here. I thought I would take the opportunity to uh, get a chance for you to learn a little bit about these students. Because you know, if your children stay with us through next year, they're going to be spending at least one hour a day with these folks. So I think it's good for us to get to know a little bit about who they are, what do they value, what do they do. So let's, let's take a little, this is a little informal poll here. Okay, so let's see what these people do when they're not here. How many people play at least one high school sport? Interesting. Way up there. How many people will play two? Huh. How many people play three high school sports? How many people have like a leadership role on their team, such as being a captain or an assistant captain? Okay, so I think sometimes there's this uh, slight misconception that if I'm in Foxborough High School music, I don't do anything else. That's my whole life. And I, I, I feel the need to clarify that at times. One more time, who plays the sport? Way up high. Okay, good. These are also high academic achievers. Who here is on honor roll last semester? High honor roll. Some, some. it's good. Keep it up. Okay. Uh, how many people have a job outside of school? Okay. Uh, these are also high musical achievers, which I think would be somewhat obvious from what they sound like. How many people have, are participating in either district or junior district or all state this year? Okay. So we have some skilled musicians, which is awesome. Yeah. Some of these people, I suspect, are involved in the uh, National Honor Society. Who do we have who's in the National Honor Society? Okay. What about student government? Okay. President of the junior class. President of the junior class. Who's that? <laughs> Is that your uh, royal wave there, Paul? It's very royal. Uh, drama club, for instance. Who, who participates in the drama club? Yeah, cool. <laughs> Who participates in some kind of uh, religious or church organization outside of school? Okay. So these people have, have time on their weekends to do that kind of thing. It's a value to them. That's cool. How many people tutor younger students, either in music or another subject, in some form of lessons? Okay. This is something I feel really important about in this program, this concept that younger students care, sorry, younger students care about older students, but I think it's super important to remember that our older students really care about the success of younger students. It's, it's been something that's super important to us and I hope continues to be. So that's the kind of folks that these people are. So I just wanted you to kind of get a sense who they are. I would love it if the eighth graders would come join us and for our last piece, Onward. Afterwards, right through these doors or those doors, there's gonna be a reception. It's a great chance for parents to get to see our space a little bit if you haven't been here. And uh, also, if you have a question for one of the high school students, this is the perfect time to ask them. And they're very articulate, honest people. So I hope to see you next door in about seven minutes. Thank you for coming.
Okay, so we're going to head into the band room now uh, for our reception. We'd love it if all the parents and friends can also join us too. So you can go right out these doors here, and it's going to be the first, uh, the second big room in the hallway. Just follow all of the kids in black.